Saints. This is Pastor Curtis Williams, God's House of Liberty, coming into you, into your mind, and into your heart. You know, I just want to spend a, a few minutes with you and, and just, you know, want to talk about how blessed we are. We, we, we forget all about, you know, how, how God blessed us, even at the beginning. You know, in the book of Genesis, you know, that's that's where our blessings start. You know what I mean? God created us, you know what I mean? And then from then on in, God was blessing us. He blessed us, his creation. He made us, okay? And he blessed us as he made us. And, and we have to remember that, you know, even when you go all the way back to Genesis, like I said, at the beginning, God blessed us and he had he had in his mind he had a mind to bless us you know and we are the benefactors of it and we forget all about how blessed we really are you know even, even I don't care what's going on around you you got you still have to remember that you're blessed you're not cursed but you're blessed why because God has blessed you and we need to be reminded of that every now and then. We need to realize that, hey, look, we're, we're not beaten and torn down, but we're built up and made stronger. And because of God's blessing us, we should be victorious through that blessing. Nobody can bless you better than God can, amen? So we have to really start walking in the blessings of God. Amen. It's good to be blessed. Just remember that you are blessed. And not only that, God created us. Okay. God created us to be blessed. Amen. Woo, that's a good one. God created you to be blessed. God created me to be blessed. God created us to be blessed. Thank you, Jesus for the blessing. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 we're going to be reading 27, 28 and the 29th verse just to see how good God is to us. See how good he is. Don't forget about that. Remember God is good. Okay? All the time. Praise his holy name. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Almighty God, just thanking you for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon our lives. Father, we ask that you will continue to bless us, continue to lift us up, Almighty God, when we are torn down. Continue, Almighty God, to speak to us when we get into a place where it's noisy and we can't really hear well, but we will be able to hear your voice. Lord, we ask that you will open our eyes to see, Almighty God, even when we're in a dark place that you will open our eyes to see you. Lord, we thank you. We ask that you will anoint our ears to hear the truth and on our hearts to accept your truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, saints, here we go. God created us to be blessed. Genesis chapter one, verse 27 through 29. The 27th verse reads as follows. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God created us in his image and in his likeness. Okay, so we look like somebody and that somebody is God. This is what we look like is God's features. Okay? It's, it's what God gave us. And I'm not saying this, but the word of God said that he created us. Okay? And how did he create us? In, in, in our own, in his own image. So our image is the image of God. <laughs> Praise God. So, so you don't have to walk around saying that you're ugly. Okay? God has created you in his image. Okay? That's how God created. He created us that way. Okay? And he created the man and the woman in his image. So we look similar to what God would look like. 
Amen. Yeah, it's a blessing. We know that God is a spirit. Okay, but God has a way that he even looks himself and he created us in his image and in his likeness. He created us that way. Amen. So remember that. So God created man in 27 again in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So we need to quit talking about people. Amen. Because our features. Okay. Are taken from the image of God. Remember that, saints. In 28, you know, we, we have to remember that God didn't just create us in his image and his likeness, but God also had a purpose for us. He had an intent for us. He wanted to do something for us. Okay, God didn't just create us and, and, and tossed us, you know what I'm saying, in, in, to the wayside. Or better yet, when he created Adam and Eve, he didn't just toss them in the garden and just forgot all about them. But God had already prepared a place for them to live before he created them. He already made a way to that when they would come into the world, when he would create them into this world, that he already had intentions on blessing them. The blessing was already made and set up before the blessed ease came. <laughs> Praise God. In other words, the world was already set up to receive man and woman and was already set up from when man and woman was created that they would be blessed after they was created. It's nothing that they had to do. Everything was already prepared. The blessing was already prepared. The blessing was already laid out. God had already set up the blessing before he created us. <laughs> Ooh. Some probably would think this is not proper grammar, but ain't God good? Hmm. Yes, he is. You know, he is the blesser. And I'm so glad that he is blessing us. In the midst of whatever is going on in our lives, God is still in the blessing business. He's still blessing his people. Amen. You need to be happy. You should shout hallelujah right now. Hallelujah. You should have a hallelujah on your heart. Just being reminded how God blesses us and how he's still blessing you. Amen. Verse 28 says this. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. And God blessed you. Amen. Amen. Just like he was a blessing to Adam and Eve back then, God is a blessing to you right now today. God is blessing you. If you are hearing me right now, God is blessing you. Because you're still able to hear. If you're able to shout hallelujah right now, oh, you need to realize that's a blessing. If you can feel this word going forth, it's a blessing. Amen. So you need to realize you're blessed right now in the midst of all of this. You don't have to wait till tomorrow to come to be blessed. You're blessed right now. Why? Because God is blessing you right now. Amen. 28 says this, and God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. That, that means, you know what I'm saying, Adam and Eve was married, so look, have some kids. Amen. Have some kids. God is blessing them to have kids. Have kids. They didn't need an adoption system right then and there because these were only two, and God was blessing them. Nowadays, even if you can't have a kid, 
You're able to still have a kid. All you got to do is adopt one. There's a lot of kids out there that need your help. You can be a blessing to those kids just like God is a blessing in you. Hey Amen. You know it. God created us to be blessed. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Take care of it. God has blessed us to take care of the earth. It don't make no sense that we can't take care of what God has put in our care. Amen. God says subdue it. And that's what we need to do. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. God has given us control, if you will, or power over the fish of the sea. Somebody has to be a caretaker. Amen. Somebody has to be uh, uh, the, the, the overseer. The one who's supposed to look over everything. So God has blessed us to be able to watch out for his creation. To take care of his creation. And we're supposed to have dominion. That means rule over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air and over the living thing that moveth upon the earth. I'm going to read 28 in its entirety and, and listen to it. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over living thing that moveth upon the earth. Over every living thing that moves on this earth. That means we, we are to look out for all the creatures, for all the fish, okay, for all the birds in the air. For all the stuff that's creeping and walking to and fro in the earth. God has given us that responsibility. He has blessed us to be able to do it. Oh my God. God created us to be blessed. And as long as we're taking care of those things, God is going to bless us. See, we have for, I'll put it like this, we forgot how. To take care of things. We have forgot that we have been charged at the beginning. Okay. God has blessed us and then he charged us to take care of things. Why? Because he knows that he has blessed us and gifted us with what we need in order to be in charge. Of whatever is going on in this world that he created for us. We messed it up later on. Amen. Adam and Eve messed around and did something they shouldn't have did. You know what I'm saying? And they had all this. See, see, man is, ever since sin came in, man has always been looking for power. Ever since. Everybody, man wants to control man. That ain't what it said in the Bible. The word of God didn't say man can control man or man should have dominion over man. It doesn't say anything like that. It says that man is supposed to have dominion over the earth. Amen. And, and, and not over humans. Mm. God created us to be blessed. See, it's no blessing being in charge or control over another human. There's no glory in that. There's no pride in that. There's no, there, there, there shouldn't be any happiness in that. Why? Because the word of God doesn't say that we are supposed to be uh, uh, rulers over each other. It doesn't say that. Hmm. Remember, God created us to be blessed. And if you're ruling over another human being, you ain't blessed. That person that you're ruling over is not even blessed. 
<laughs> because they're not free. They're not able to do and to live the way God wants man to live. Mm. Praise the Lord. Verse 29. And God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you, it shall be for meat. God has created us to be blessed. God then did everything. He then, when he created us, which is the last part of his creation, when he created us, everything else was already set up. See, God had already had the blessing waiting for us before he created us. And this is just another result of being blessed, of, of God blessing us. God set it up to where we had fruit to eat, you could have the greens, whatever you, whatever you needed to eat, God had already provided for you. We didn't have to eat the animals. God had already set up what we should eat. Amen. He had already set up everything. God has blessed us before we even knew we was blessed. <laughs> I'm telling you, God created us to be blessed. And he's proven it out. We are blessed. You need to remember how blessed you are. You need to go back over in, in, to the beginning, which is Genesis. You need to read what God has already prepared for us. You know, when it came down, you know, to it, when God created Man in his image and in his likeness, God had already had provisions set up before he created us, before he breathed that, that breath of life into us. God had already prepared everything around us. So when he made us, we woke up blessed. We woke up and was already blessed. God created us to be blessed. God bless you, saints. This is Pastor Curtis Williams of God's House of Liberty saying thank you for tuning in again. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. Godspeed. God bless.